Okay, let me make sure I'm recording, and I am. Okay. Everybody, this is Angelo Quinones, and you reached I Am Ministries. I Am Ministries is designed to give you dependable and accurate answers that come straight from God's holiness by what the Bible. Uh, post body, how are you doing? What's how you know? How's it going? And uh, Manishma means the same thing in uh, modern Hebrew. Now, um, we've been studying many doctrines these days. Uh, the doctrine of the resurrection, the doctrine of the Trinity. And I want to go back to the Trinity today, um, briefly. And I was looking at a lot of verses, uh, you know, on the Trinity. And um, that, the, that the specific, specifically that the Holy Spirit speaks. And I was looking at uh, oh, over 20 verses uh, in the New Testament um, telling us, that the Holy Spirit speaks directly. That is, you know, that it says so. Like Acts chapter 1, verse 16, John 16, verse 13, all the way to Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, at all. And many, many verses of Scripture, you know, uh, Acts 16, uh, 6, and 13, 2, and 11, 12, and uh, 10, 19, and 8, 29, and all across the board. Many verses, you know, First Peter chapter 1, verse 11. And 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 uh, and a few verses in Hebrews and, and even in First uh, Timothy, many verses telling us that the Holy Spirit speaks. Now, also we have to understand that the Holy Spirit does things in the church. Not only speaks, but He does things in the church. And I want to look at that because I didn't I didn't um, really uh, take one sermon to just dwell on that fact of first of uh, that's written and recorded. In First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse eleven. So let's let's look at that, okay? Because I want to concentrate just on that verse. Now we looked at all the verses, okay? We looked at all the verses, but I want to land on uh, verse eleven of chapter twelve of First Corinthians, and it says something like this: "Quote, it is one and the same Spirit, distributing as He desires, as He desires to each." person, meaning uh, each person in the body of Christ, who uh, produces all these things, meaning all the manifestations and effects that, that's written and recorded here in this chapter. Okay, you understand what I mean? Uh, the gift of tongues, the interpretation of tongues, I mean, the gift of uh, prophesying, the gift of, uh, 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 of uh, miracles and uh, healing and uh, discernment of the spirits. And, uh, and and all these gifts that are written and recorded, okay, uh, he is the one who gives them, okay, and he is the one uh, according to his will. Now, I don't know if I have that here, though, because I want to look at the NASB, uh, because I like the translation of the NASB. I like that, that, that was the NET. Let's look at the NASB, okay, First Corinthians, I have chapter 7 over here. Okay, let's get to chapter 12, the next chapter. Uh, and let's go to verse 11 because I like this translation very, very much so. Okay, and so let's get let's get it because it does mention his will there. But one, this is the NASB, but one and the same spirit works all these things. So he works, okay, distributing. So he's a distributor, he distributes these gifts. To each one in the body of Christ, okay, to each one individually, just as he wills. So he has a will. This is not false. Okay, so I mean, if you, if you, listen, if uh, you are visited by a JW or more, unfortunately, they'll come at least two at a time or three. You know what I'm saying? And they darken the door of your, of your, of your house. Just give them this verse. I mean, you could give him all the verses that I gave you from, you know, uh, uh, that he speaks, that he appoints, uh, uh, you know, overseers. Okay, Acts chapter 20, verse 28, that he, that he, that he, I mean, that he, that he comforts. John chapter 14, that he counsels. Uh, John chapter 15, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, all of these things that he does, uh, that he helps us in our prayers, you know, he, he harbors our prayers, our groaning. Okay, um, in his heart, in his mind, and uh, God who searches all things, uh, you know, knows the mind of the spirit. See, the mind is a yes of, of franema. I, I believe, like franema, franema. You know, 
He has a mind. So he has a will over here. Okay? So you see that Jesus has a will according to uh, Matthew chapter 8, verse 1 or 2. And, um, you know, and then uh, in verse 20, in chapter 26, uh, it speaks about uh, the Father and the Son's will. Not my will, but but I be done. You understand? And that prayer um, written and recorded in the Garden of Gethsemane. So all three have a will. And not only this one, this is, this is the great one. This is the really the, the sheds light on what's really being spoken of in Hebrews chapter uh, 2 verses, uh, verse 3 or 6. Okay, that, uh, that he... He does these things according to his will. But this is very clear that it says the Holy Spirit over here. Okay, there's just one of the same spirit. It mentions the Trinity in verses 4, 5, and 6. And, and the spirit comes first. Okay, probably because he, he, he distributes the gifts and really he's the main focus of this, of this chapter. Okay, is the work of the spirit. He, he's not glorifying himself. It's just telling us, you know, what he does. It's not glorifying himself. He's not going to glorify himself. He's going to glorify Jesus. But how does he glorify Jesus? Well, in the manifestations and effects of the of the body of Christ. Now, uh, let's get into the Greek, okay? But let's read this again. This is this is delicious, really wonderful to the taste of the Trinitarian. But one and the same Spirit works. See, so he works all these things, okay? All these things. Distributing, so he distributes, and it's a participle, so it's probably continuous uh, uh, there, to each one individually, just as he wills. And he is capitalized because it's talking about the Holy Spirit. Huh? So he has a will, uh, probably a thelema there. We'll, we'll check it out. And that's just the deal. So let's go to the Greek, though, however. Okay. That's just it. Uh, okay, so let's just tap this one, two, three. I didn't want to take it out, you know. So let's uh, let's go back to uh, let's go back to this over here. You understand? Let's go to the let's go to the Greek. Now um, I hope. Let me see. And the same. Let me see. And the same spirit. Okay, uh, we'll 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 uh, start there because it's probably. Uh, if it's capitalized, it's probably, let me see here, all, let me see, all now, these things, okay, probably it's over here, this one, it's probably, because this is capitalized, the all. All, it translates the Greek word panta, the stem is pant, okay, the lexical form is past, the, the new and the tower dropped off, uh, because they were between the, because they, they had a sigma there for the, for the nominative case, right? So the, the, the dental and then the new uh, dropped off, the T and the, and the new dropped off. Now they called tough and <laughs> so tough that it got dropped. <laughs> tough and uh, knee. In, in modern Greek, those letters are called. And that's why you have pas in the lexical, uh, in the lexicons, in the dictionaries. But it's really, it's really pont. It's really actually pants. And then the, the new and the tall didn't survive. So, uh, so that's just the deal. But that's the... That's the um, the uh let me see the stem of it all now uh let me see what's this over here what did i do what did i do okay so uh that's what i did okay so uh panta means all and then now it's uh translate it translating a conjunction uh de which has various uh uh, uh array of meanings uh spelled out uh delta epsilon looks like a d sort of a little bit and in, in, in an e these things is uh, tauta, and that's a uh, that's a neuter um, uh, uh, demonstrative from hutas, okay, from the hutas paradigm, okay. And you should see hutas there, and you do, and uh, not to be confused with uh, with autas, okay. They're different. They're both pronouns, but autas is a third person personal pronoun, and so that's just the deal. Ekenos also is part of the pool of the demonstrative uh, pronouns. And then the next line says works. So this is what the Holy Spirit does. He works, okay? Energe. 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 Very hard to say. Energe. It doesn't roll on the tongue, but uh, E-N-E-R-G-E-I. Okay, and then probably the paradigm goes something like this, energo, which is over there, energeo, energeo, okay, that's the cute marker, energeo, uh, ener, ener, uh, ges, and energe, 
that's probably the paradigm there. You could probably piece it up together if you ne never saw it before. Uh, sort of a regular uh, paradigm. Uh, the the O and the you know the the omega iota. Um, what is it? Iota sigma. Um, a nothing sigma iota, or omega. Um, Omega, uh, Ace, and A, I mean, you know, like that. Um, works. Well, let's check out the, the semantic range in uh, 17 of 17, uh, let me see over here, 1754. Let's check, oh, this is a picture. I can't poke the bear because this is a picture, though, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, but it does mean work, um, so he does work. The Holy Spirit, so, I mean, it, uh, how can a force work? Now listen, I know you have machines that work and stuff like that. I mean, they're talking about the strike that's upcoming possibly of uh, auto uh, industries and then the, the machines uh, that, that, that that does these cars and, and stuff like that. I understand that. Listen, that's nowadays. But you still need people to run the machines and stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? But the Holy Spirit is not a force. I mean, they didn't have machines in those days. They, they did. Some machines that opened up, you know, they, they used to have like, you know, these... These doors and, and, and temples, and they open up by themselves, triggered probably some by some light or motion or something like that. So you know when you when you when you see your supermarket uh, doors open up by themselves and stuff like that, that's the, that technology has been there since ancient you know times. I mean, like thousands of years. They've been spooking people out, uh, uh, probably giving money to cults like that in the old days. You know. These, these devices and stuff like that that opens up doors and stuff like that that's been around for years you know star trek is not the only one that came out with that yet is that what i'm saying you know but look at the holy spirit works so he's not a false he's a person so he works that's the first thing he does he works uh -huh. and then he works the one okay ta that's a neuter uh, article from the from the uh nominative side and from the accusative side same same uh, construction Tau Omicron, you got 24 articles in the article paradigm, and that's one of them, Ta, you know, from uh, from the Ha Hey Ta side of the paradigm, you understand what I'm saying? Article paradigm. One is Hen uh, from uh, from uh, Hayes, you understand? Okay, so Hayes is the lexical form, and you got Hen over here. Okay, the same one recorded uh, when Jesus said, I am the Father are one, and he said, Actually, if he was uh, 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 saying it in Hebrew, you know, I and the Father, uh, I and the Father are echad. <laughs> so that's great. That's a great Shema. Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Elohim, Yahweh echad. That's a complete Shema in Hebrew. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just the deal. Now, um, let's go on here. So he works. No, for us. That's just the deal. So let's see what's next, though, because I don't I don't know if I have them in order. It works. Let me see. All in one. Uh, let me see. Individually, each. Let me see. As he. You know, that's the, the the last part. So this is probably the second part. And the same. Okay. Uh, spirit. Okay. Uh, ta one and the same spirit. That's all. It goes like this. So I'm trying to piece everything together because I don't have it in order. And and it's translating the computer to connect the conjunction chi here, spelled K A I or Kappa Alpha Iota with the grab marker. And then it says over here a uh, ta the and that's a, a, a neuter article, in the nominative. Same. Okay. A ta. Okay. And that's a. Uh, a personal pronoun, a personal pronoun, nominative, and that's just the deal, okay? And uh, third person singular, actually, uh, auta, okay? Not hauta, but auta. The other one was hutas. This one is auta, autas, okay? And this is auta over here. One and the same, okay, spirit. You know what I'm saying? So it's, the, it's, it's only one spirit that's in operation here, Distributing these gifts and working in the church in, in God's Kirk. You understand what I'm saying? So spirit is Panuma here, and that's spelled out capital P. If that looks like a building, that letter P in Greek is, is meant to typify a, a Greek temple. Okay, that's why it looks like that. But anyway, you got P nu, epsilon, upsilon. Now these called epsilon with the with the circumflex. Uh, mu and alpha. Okay. Uh, so that's just the 
Pneumo or P N E U M A. Old old time Bible teachers, I'm talking about from the forties and fifties and so on, they used to not pronounce the P, they used to just say Numa. And just like they, they got it from pneumatic drill, uh Psalms, you know, mention the P in Psalms, cycle, like that, you know. Um So this is the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity. Not in class, but I mean, if you have three apples on the table, like like I said before, or three bananas or three oranges, I don't care what you got of the same. Well, you could start counting from left to right, right to left, uh, in the middle to the left, in the middle to the right. It doesn't make a difference. The Holy Spirit is first on the list in in uh, in uh, chapter twelve of uh, of First Corinthians, okay, verse four. He's the first one, and then the Lord Jesus is second. And then the Father is third. So I, I already said that uh, the order is not, you know, not doesn't have to do with class. You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't have to do with class at all. All right, now let me see if I could get rid of this thing here. I don't want to turn it off, though. So let me just, uh, okay, I don't want to turn it off, though. Uh, so anyway, one of the same spirit. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, apportioning, it says over here, distributing, uh, said the other uh, translation, apportioning, uh, and that's uh, D-I-R-U-N, D-I-R-U-N, apportioning, distributing. You understand what I'm saying? You ever went to a cafeteria and, and the person is distributing things, okay, distributing food to people? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, so that's just the deal. I mean, uh, so I mean, uh, this is—he's not a—he's not a force, man. This is a, this is a distributor. Okay, <laughs> this is just the Holy Spirit distributing to each one individually, though. He doesn't just, you know, uh, say, okay, everybody's going to have everything at the same time. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, a person by person basis that he is giving these gifts. He's the giver of the gifts. Listen, the Father gave the Kirk or the Church to Jesus. Okay, you understand? Jesus paid for for our salvation, ah, huh? and the Holy Spirit works many things in the kick in the church. You know, let me just turn this off, though. No, I don't. I don't want to turn that off. Okay, I mean, he's the he's the he's the he's the operator. He's the distributor. He is he he is in charge of giving these gifts of dispensing these gifts. Is that what I'm saying? Apportioning, it says over here. Di run, di run. Uh, and that's just it. Now, um, now it says over here, I record it, individually. So he works on an individual uh, basis. Idia. Idia. Actually, idia, the cute markers on the second syllable. I, D, I, A, or Iota, with the salt breathing marker. So it's not he, it's E. Or it, I mean, you know, you could you know, check with your teacher. Delta Iota with the acute marker. So that's where you have the accent. E D A. Okay, wherever you see the accent marker pointing to like an analog clock, a uh, hand clock, you know, pointing to like seven o'clock on an analog clock, then you raise the, the, the accent right then and there. Okay, you understand? What? If it goes to like uh, uh, five o'clock, well, then you drop your accent. You understand what I'm saying? Instead of idea, you say idea. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Individually. To each, it says over here, uh, let me see. Hecasto. Hecasto. Read it like an Italian would speak. That's how the Greeks speak. Hecasto. Seropoli. <laughs> and those tutorials, you know, telling, telling you how to order something in. Uh, and, uh, you know, in, in, uh, in Greece. Servoli. To onanamu ine angelo. You know. I want a cafe. And take out coffee is the same in Greek. Cafe like Spanish. Cafe is the same thing. Cafe. A cafe. <laughs> and sandwich is the same thing also. Sandwich. You know, they say sandwich. You know, sandwich. This is a lot of the stuff is the same stuff, you know. It's just, you know. The last thing. I don't know if the chair is the same thing as the chair. <laughs> to each. Hecasto. Read it like that. Like, like, like a Greek. 
Hecasto, even though probably Greeks don't even know nothing about this 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 construction. I mean, a lot of them, you know, a lot of us, speak, you know, speaking English speaking people, don't know English. You know, we don't even know what the commas for. And then I looked in uh, Diane Hacker's uh, book, uh, Writer's Reference. I had to by force, no pun intended. And then uh, you know, in college, that was our textbook, one of our textbooks uh, uh, in uh, English class. Man, I hated English class though, but I loved the the the, the the book by Diane Hacker, A Writer's Reference. Oh, my goodness gracious. And the comma section I used to actually explain something in Luke chapter 23, verse 43, about the comma uh, debate between us and the JWs. So, you know, uh, truly I say to you, comma, today you shall be with me in paradise. No, truly I say to you today, comma, like I'm telling what I'm telling you, I'm telling you today. Come on, man. It's like Joe Biden all over again. So Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, Casto. Okay, to each. So he. This is a personal thing that he's. He works for us individually, and there's thousands of us here upon this earth. Okay, he baptizes. Uh, he, he. 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 Listen. He draws us. He baptizes us. Santa sanctifies us. Sometimes he fills us. Ah. Uh, and then he gives us these. He. These. These gifts. He he helps us in prayer. He count he counsels us. He's a, a comforter, a, a helper. I mean, come on, man. It's not a force, man. Open your eyes and then you shall see. Open your ears and you shall hear. You know what I'm saying? To each, meaning to ash in the church. As okay, Kathos. Kathos. K A T H okay Omega. K A T H Omega. K A okay K A T H O S. All right. Okay. Or Kappa Alpha Theta. Now they call Theta Omega Sigma. Final Sigma. Sigma means to synchronize. And then the Theta means uh in and of itself it means divine. Alpha over here means uh rising and omega means emerging from something. And Kappa, I have no idea. I forgot. Okay, <laughs> I forgot what that means. He, of course, let me see, as he wills. Boo, let die. Boo, let die. Now, check this out. This is the debate. And with this, I'll close. Because some Jehovah's Witnesses might be, you know, might be these geeks that only know Greek as far as lexicons go, and those are easy. To, those are easy to deal with, even though Tony from Florida was not easy to deal with. Okay, um, he, he was not. He was a challenge, and because of him, I learned Hebrew. Meaning, he he. When I debated Tony from Florida, he um, was a very nice guy. A very nice guy from Florida. Uh, I had my ministry in New York, and people used to call me from all over the United States. As somebody even called me from Canada. Okay, my first channel, Angelo Kiki Quinones, did very well. I mean, it has almost like 3,000 subscribers. I mean, that's not great, but it's not bad. Um, my first one, you know, Angelo Kiki Quinones. So I'm the one who uploaded the famous, okay, Greg Stafford versus uh, James White debate, which James White clearly lost the debate. Not because he was wrong, he was just ineffective. I'm not a James tonight. I can I can tag him and, and dime on him all I want to. He lost the debate. And because he did, I set up this ministry called I Am Ministries. Because Jesus said I am so many times. How to not lose a debate and campaign like James White lost. I don't mean to um, insult you or hurt you if you're a James fan. You know, I call them James tonight's, you know. Uh, just like Brother Camping, he used to, if he was a brother at all, he used to, you know, have his circle the uh, 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 Campsonites or whatever it was, I don't know, you know, uh, Campanites or whatever, I don't know, you know, so, you know, uh, that's just a deal, so the thing is that, um, anyway, um, you know, because he lost the debate, I, I, you know, I'm doing all these full Greek constructions and things like that, so that way won't, we won't be disappointed or ashamed in front of an opponent, and, you know, Tony, these debates got me better, you know, praise God, he gets the glory, not me. Because I didn't know how to read Hebrew, and because of what happened one day against uh, Tony, um, I was forced to learn how to read Hebrew, meaning the letters and stuff like that, you know? And, um, and you know, the, the question was, or the debate was, we were reading in English, in our English translations, NIV, NASV, stuff like that, translations like that, you know? Um, 
you know, uh, the famous uh, argument in Proverbs uh, chapter 8. And uh, I said, well, it can't be logos there or logos because it says she, she, she and her cries and her voice and stuff like that. And when he looked at it, when he looked at the, the lexicon, it didn't say, okay, she cries. It didn't say her voice. It just says voice or cries, you know, coal, coal you know, coal and stuff like that. Or whatever. It doesn't say, it didn't say cola, for example. It said coal in a lexical form. Of course, it's not going to say cola. Cola, cola means she cries. Coal means just cries or voice. I've got which one, um, you know. I just saw it the other day and I already forgot. Um, but anyway, they say it's just her voice or her, 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 her she calls. He couldn't. See, he didn't see that there, so he didn't believe me. He didn't say, "Well, you know, I know what the English Bible says, but when I trace this Hebrew word, it doesn't say she." And I didn't know how to answer. I said, "Well, the only thing I got is the English over here." Yeah, but when I trace it, so he he actually you know won that battle because I couldn't I couldn't finish the deal. I mean, I said, "Well, the translations have it." I mean, you know, there has to be, have a reason. But then when I looked at it myself, when I bought my Hebrew uh, Bible, when I learned uh, uh, Hebrew, I, I, I saw that, you know, like, for example, Ish means man, and Adam also, but Ish means man, okay, Isha means woman, you see, because if you put a hey, okay, at the end of a Hebrew word, sometimes, it makes the word feminine. But when you trace that number, Okay, you're not going to get the feminine form in the lexicon. They're going to have, okay, the lexical form. Just like in Greek, you're not going to see, okay, um, you know, uh, a genitive construction or, you know, tan theon or whatever the case may be, unless they're talking about it. You're going to see ha theas. You're going to see theas. You're not going to see theon, theu, theo, thea, theois, the. You're not going to see those things. You're going to see, you're going to see theas. Out of the nine constructions for the word for God, okay, in Greek, you're going to see one. The lexical form is always nominative, the, the noun. And the lexical form, according to the verbs, is always the present indicative active form. Okay, now they might have some others uh, with it, like the future tense, like George Riker Berry's lexicon and things like that. But they're not going to have everything out there for you. When you trace an, the article ha, or, or let's say you're tracing the article tu, or you're tracing the article, or anything except for a ha. You tra the other 23 forms of the article, you know, he ta, tu te tu, to te to, tan te ta, hoi hai ta, with an alpha this time, ton ton ton, twice size twice, and two stars ta. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, okay, the article is going to, it, it's gonna show up as ha in the lexicon, not the other ones. So, when you're tracing a Hebrew word, okay, you're not going to see echadim, for example, in the, in the lexicon. You're going to see echad. Echadim means few, okay? You know, written and recorded in verse 44, chapter 27 of Genesis, right? Stay at uh, your uncle Laban's house uh, for a few days until your, the, the fury of your brother uh, cools down or subsides. Okay, Rebecca was the mother of, uh, of Jacob and told him to go to uh, his uncle's house for a few days. Echadim. See, the Echadim, the Yod and the Mem, is making that plural. Like Susim, Cherubim, Seraphim, Elohim, Panim. You see, the Mem is making that plural. And then, and, and then the Tao, also in Hebrew, modern Hebrew, can make a, a word uh, feminine. And like the He can not all the time, but the hey can make it feminine, okay, a Hebrew word, like Isha and, 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 and stuff like that, you see, and cola. So when I found that out, man, it was child's play. Now, if, if a JW will say, oh, well, I don't see it in a lexicon, it says, she cries, yeah, but do you know how to read Hebrew? Well, no, well, well in Hebrew, and then I'll tell them all the stuff I told you. You understand what I mean? Not to repeat everything. But let's get to this debate over here, though. Okay, it says over here, he, he wills. Now, this is a different argument over here. Now, what if the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, knows a little bit about the construction? They're not the, the geeks that, that walk around with a briefcase and then they, they have a lexicon, fairs or vines. It's good to have those, but, you know, I thought that, and then this is a long time ago, I thought that Greek was just knowing Greek words. That is not the case. No pun intended case, get it? That's not the case. Knowing Greek is to is to look at a word and 
analyze it, recognizing its construction and recognizing how that word is functioning in a particular text. Is it is an is it an aorist? Is it an, uh, is it an imperative? Is is it is it a subjunctive? Is it I mean uh, is it uh, infinitive? Is it a participle? What is it? And how can you tell you know uh, if it's any of those? What are the morphemes? You know, can you recognize the morphemes, and you know, and, and parse it and and take it apart and and put it together and 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 and, and analyze each part, the stem, the the the, the, the the connecting vowel, the tense formative, the, the the personal ending, whatever it is, the augment, everything. Now, but let's get to this though, because let's say um, that a person knows more than meets the eye. That, that he knows more about, you know, just you know, just looking up a Greek word and giving its meaning, and, and that's okay, that's nice. But this is, man, that's Greek is not that's not the end all be all of Greek. I just told you a little bit what it is about knowing, analyzing it you know uh the constructions and 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 just looking at it and knowing what's the genitive of time what's the genitive of relationship what's the partitive of genitive what's the uh genitive of place or whatever the case may be or a predicate nominative or whatever and you know it because of the constructions and stuff like that and and uh why things are shaved off why things are complete why th whatever now let's say he says well you know something the holy spirit is not doing anything here I say, well, why, why is that? Well, but this is passive. This is middle passive construction. Oh, you know a little Greek, right? Yeah, this is right here. It says, uh, it says a lexical form. <laughs> okay, they go to the lexicon. Bulamai. And, uh, you know, I know a little bit of Greek. Oh, you do. And I know this. Well, it says passive over here. I think I know what passive is. I really don't, says the JW. But, I mean, I, I think that passive, you know, I checked out the Greg Stafford uh, debate. I mean, he, he, he tripped up uh, James White with the passive deal and... He's not, he's not really doing it. He's passive in this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's passive. You know what I'm saying? Passive. Now, what are you going to say? See, this is what the ministry is all about. See, Greg, Greg um, what's his face? James White didn't know how to answer the passive argument of, uh, you know, of, uh, John chapter 1, verse 3. He didn't, and now this is an old classification, but it still, it still works. He still, he didn't know how to say, well, which, you know, I would say it like this to Greg Stafford. Okay, what passive voice you're talking about? You're saying it's in a passive voice? What are you talking about? Which one? Now, right there, it stops him. He, he wouldn't know. Maybe he, he did and he forgot. But, you know, he, unless you're studying this stuff and really have it in your head, okay, you, you're not going to know, you're not going to remember everything, I, I don't think. Okay? You can't. It's just too much. You know, like you can, somebody can ask you, what's a, what's a, uh, what's a protasis and a protasis? Well, what's that? And then, then they, if, you, if you forgot, then, oh, I mean, it's so easy, but that's the if and then in, in Greek. Protasis and a protasis. I mean, you know, it sounds, you know, lofty, but that's just all it is. If and then. If this happens, then, you know, I'll show up. Okay, <laughs> so, That's so easy. But he should have said to him, well, uh, what passive voice are you talking about to Greg Stafford? Which one? Are you talking about the which passive voice? Oh, can you name the passive voices? The uses of the passive voice? Give it to me. And Greg Stafford, okay, who it is? A JW. He's not a JW anymore anyway, so why? I don't have to deal with him anymore. He's gone. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, he, uh, which one? Well, I don't really know the passive voice. So what are you talking about then? If you don't know the, the uses of the passive voice, why are you even mentioning it? So what, give it to me. No, I just told you I don't know. Okay, well, let me sh show you what they are. Are you talking about the passive voice with, uh, with, um, uh, uh, with direct agent? Well, give me an example. Okay. Acts chapter 22, verse 30. Are you talking about that? I don't know. Okay, are you talking about the passive voice with intermediate agent? The one in the verse you're talking about, John 1, 3. Talking about that? Are you talking about uh, the passive with impersonal, the passive voice with, with impersonal agent? Okay, written and recorded in verses 8 and 9, uh, or one of those verses of chapter 2 of Ephesians, by grace you are saved through faith. Now the one, now the, the, which one is the agent, the impersonal agent? That's, that's the one to study. Okay, is it faith or is it grace? But anyway, you know, okay, which one? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, you tell me. Usually when they don't know something, oh, you tell me. Wow, really nice. You really studied your Bible, you tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. 
Fast avoids with intermediate agent. That's that's the one in the text of, of, of John chapter 1 verse 3. And I'll tell them over here. Okay, this is a passive form. Do you know what a deponent word is? A what? A deponent word. Um, No, I, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> you see? You're running those JW walking around with their briefcases. They don't know anything. They think they know Greek. They think they know. But me, like I told you before, I think I, I, I thought I knew. And I didn't. I didn't know what I, 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 I the, the, the vines. It's beautiful. It's okay. You know, the, 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 the Greek word esos there, equal or esos, I mean, that's, in, that's impeccable writing in vines. And Mount's uh, explanation on the Tetragrammaton is wonderful. You understand know what I'm saying? But these lexicons, they don't teach you Greek. They don't teach you the nuances of it, the basics, the, the, the beyond the basics. You understand know what I'm saying? Like Mount and Dan Wallace taught in their respected uh, uh, grammars, um, and other people as well, like Julius Armanti, I'm a great fan, admirer of that. Uh, old manual, yes, and Pactelia has to be changed and stuff like that, but I still love the manual, still use it today. You know, about 73 years uh, later, you understand what I'm saying? It's, 19, it's, it's 2023 now, so 1923, like, uh, roaring 20s, that's all we need. But the thing is that, it, that's, not, that's not knowing Greek. Carrying a lexicon and that's it, and give you a Greek word and, and, and a Hebrew word and stuff. That's not the 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 that's the that's not 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 the that's the that's not the that's not the that's not the that's if it, if it ends in Omai, oh I mean, he looked like he came out of a cemetery. Goodness gracious. You see the picture of the mug on, on Russell, though? No wonder he, he, made it, he only made it to the seventh grade. He was scaring the eighth graders. Goodness gracious. I thought they didn't celebrate Halloween. Well, where'd that mask come from? Good God. All right, let's, let's get back to that. I mean, nah. Looks like the dogs dug him up. I mean, goodness great. I mean, this is like a Frankenstein or something. I mean, I, he would make Frankenstein look good. I mean, Frankenstein's a handsome guy, according to, you know, uh, next to Russell. All you need to put is the Frankenstein monster next to Charles Chase Russell's face, and then he'll shoot him full of electricity, and he'll come to life. You know what I'm saying? It's alive! Good God. Well, what's the deal? What, the opponent what? Well, listen. Mouse said, you can't say it better than Mouse. And then, um, Mouse learned it from his Hebrew teacher while riding with him in a car. He said, and, and that, oh my, you know, you trace a Greek word, okay? And if it says, if it ends in oh my, O M A I, or Omicron, now they're called Omicron, Moon, now they're called me, Alpha, Iota, you know, okay, that, that you're dealing with a deponent word. What is, the, what is the formula? Well, a deponent word, though passive and middle, no middle and passive in form, is active in meaning I, I'll repeat that a deponent word whose middle who, who's, who's, uh, whose uh, form is middle or passive is nevertheless active in meaning so uh, to quote Mouse further a little bit from my mind Okay, he said that it would seem to be the case that the opponent words lost their, their active form, okay, and was stuck with the past, the middle and passive forms. It just lost that for some reason or another, the, the, the active form was lost in, in, in these words. You understand what I'm saying? So what was left over is the middle and passive form of the word, not the active form. So if you see, if, you, if you're tracing a Greek word and, it's, and it ends in oh my in a lexicon, all right, and you know that the, the lexicon is going to have present indicative active, so you know that's a deponent word. Now over here is in the present tense. So this is acting like, this is acting, this is, this is based on deponency. <laughs> okay, you understand what I mean? 
Look at it, look at it. It says over here that it is, and look at the, let me check out the, the, the oh, I can't, I keep on pressing it, I can't do it. Okay? But I'll do it. Okay, over here is, um, it says over here, V dash P I M slash P uh, dash three S. Now, what, what, what is that? Well, I'm going to have to do it myself because you can't, I can't, this is not the real, uh, uh, you know, uh, Greek interlinear. Uh, I took pictures of it. So I keep on poking it and nothing comes out because it's just a picture. Verb, okay, and then um, this is a verb, right? And P has to do with the present tense because, because it begins with P. Sometimes the, the middle P, like if it's a PPA, it will be present, uh, uh, present participle active like that, you know. But this is a P-I-M uh, slash P. What does that mean? Okay, present, indicative. And the present has to do with tense. Indicative has to do with mood, the I. The M has to do with uh, middle. And then the slash has to do with slash, and then the P has to do with passive. And there's a third person uh, uh, singular. Okay? So over here, okay, bulletai. Now remember the paradigm, okay, for the. Now, did I take a picture of it? I don't think I did, though. Uh, no. I don't think I did, though. Did I take the, 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 uh, the paradigm pictures? No. no. I didn't, though. But, um,. Now, is this the thing right here, or what is it? So I'm going to have to do it myself again. <laughs> the paradigm, uh, the tie is a um, third-person singular personal ending from the primary passive personal ending chart, the master master personal ending chart. You know, you have your, your square, and in the square you got four boxes, and it's just like, uh, it's like uh, each of them represent personal endings. You know, the, the left side boxes represent uh, primary active and primary uh, passive personal endings. And the right-hand side boxes represent the top one, uh, secondary uh, active, and the bottom one, bottom right, uh, secondary passive personal endings, like new and stuff like that. You know, ta. Uh, I think ta and, and all that stuff. And then uh, the, the up there will be uh, like new for the third person. Uh, it's optional, uh, singular, and third person plural. No, you know, like that for the uh, secondary active, like in, like in, uh, like in, uh, like in uh, the word ain, I believe, or, or, or something like that. You know, what I'm saying. And then the top for like uh, the uh, secondary uh, passive personal ending, like in agenita, like that. But anyway, these are personal endings, my side type, so that's not a big deal. Oh my, actually, my is comes first, and then psi. You, you, you sometimes you don't even see that. You see A, I believe. And probably, and I'm just guessing, probably because they don't want to confuse it with the infinitive psi. The the aris, the, what is it? Uh, present aris uh, construction. You know, something like that. Um, uh, not, uh, not present aris. Uh, 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 what is it? Um, it's a first aris, I think, active. First, Eric, uh, active, like that, um, infinitive. But anyway, I mean, you know. <laughs> so maybe they didn't want to confuse uh, between, you know, uh, between the psi of, of uh, the passive and then the the psi of uh, of uh, of of uh, uh, first heiress, you know. But just tell the witnesses that though this is, though, though it's form, it's more. Morphology, it's you know comes from the Greek word uh, morphe, uh, which means shape or form, and uh, ology, which means study, it comes from logos or logos. You know, whenever you see ology, like biology, sociology, comes from logos. You know, ology. You know, study of something, study of whatever. I don't care what it is, biology, uh, whatever, psychology. I mean, you know, anthropology. That means the study of. You know. So when you see the form oh my, you know you you you're tracing the Greek word, and then you, oh, it's oh my in a lexicon. So this is a deponent word, and the formula is that um, oh my is a deponent word, okay, whose form is middle or passive, 
but active in meaning. That's very important. It's his middle, his middle and passive in form, but active in meaning. So it doesn't matter if it's passive in form. It's still active because it's a deponent word. This is an oh my word, which qualifies it for it being deponent. It's in the present, too. And this isn't a present. You understand what I'm saying? This isn't a present. It says over here, uh, present indicative, uh, a middle uh, passive. So he's not. He wasn't passive. He, he's not like he didn't do anything at all. And and the water squirted right through. Uh, you know, Casper the friendly ghost. And the thing is that you know uh, the the water wet the wall or the paint gun. Uh, uh, painted the wall, and then Casper didn't ha have anything to do with it. You know what I'm saying? It was just a, it was just a, the motions. He was just going through the motions, and whoever, you know, uh, painted the wall or wet the wall was was the wetter or the painter. And the, and the, and the spirit didn't do nothing at all in this in this uh, in this uh, situation. No, it says that he did that he did. It says over here it works. Now where is that uh, a Greek word for work? It says over here it works. He works. So you can't tell me this is this middle and passive from form, and then he didn't do anything. It doesn't go like that. That's not the rule of of the of, of the potency. That's not the rule of an oh my word. The rule of an oh my word is that though um, the word is middle or passive from form, is active in meaning because it ends in oh my in a lexicon. So you know that's a deponent word. Is it, if it is an oh my in a lexicon, you know you're looking at a deponent what. You know what I'm saying? Just like if you're looking uh, at a, a word like a diddle me, you know that that has uh, some rules attached to a diddle me. You know what I'm saying? That in the and that in the arist, they're going to be using a uh, kappa uh, uh, form to form the arist. You know, what I'm you know what I mean? And uh, and a reduplication, okay. Is a little bit different, you know, with the sigma, according to uh, uh, the the uh, a, a me verb, a me verb, because a me verb is a me verb, a oh my verb is a oh my verb. I mean, all of these things have rules. Amy is a, is a me verb. You understand what I'm saying? But going back to oh my, oh my is a deponent what? And though it's middle and passive from form, and the JW will tell you that, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a passive, it's, a, it's, it's middle a passive. It's a, he's not doing that. No, he is doing something because the formula is that though the word is middle and passive from form, it's active in meaning because it's an oh my word. And that's that's the rule. You can't break the rules. You know what I'm saying? You can't make your own rules. I mean, you know, every time you score, you score ten points, and, and when you're playing basketball against me, and when I when I score is two, it's not like that though. You know what I'm saying? That's just the deal. Now, this, the spelling of this uh, Greek word is uh, beta, nowadays called vita. Omicron, nowadays called omicron. Upsilon, nowadays called epsilon with the well, acute marker. Lambda, epsilon, tau. Tau, nowadays called tough, like I said before. And alpha, iota. So, bulletai. Bulletai. Now, that's the tai is the third personal ending. My, psi, tai. You see, my is first person, psi is second person, tai is uh, a third person, metha is uh, a first person uh, plural, okay, sthe is a second person plural, and that's just a deal. And untai is uh, the third person plural. So you got my, psi, tai, metha, sthe, untai. You understand what I'm saying? So that's that's easy to figure out right there. Um, connecting vowel is right before the epsilon, by the way. Okay, uh, and B, the e is a connecting vowel connecting the stem bool with the personal ending tie. So that's a, that's just a connecting vowel. That's for pronunciation. Okay, purposes. You know what I'm. You know what I mean. Now, um, so he wills, and you get the, the context. Uh, you get the he from the context. You don't get the he. The he doesn't come from the personal ending. It could be. It could be. I mean, you know, if it's their person, it could be she, he, or it. But they chose he because the person is not a. It's not a. It. He's not. He's not a false. So they they put he there in the text. You know what I'm saying? According to according as he wills. So he has a will. 
he works, and he distributes all in the same vest. How about that? Isn't that delicious? Delicious to the Trinitarian taste like I said before. This is very easy to deal with. The Holy Spirit, and there's tons of verses like this in the Bible. Do you know that Tony from Florida gave back to Tony, old Tony, you know what I mean? I, <laughs> Tony, if you're out there, I hope you can call me one day. You know, I, I miss uh, talking to Tony. We had like about 20 debates, the scene debate, you know, first, uh, you know, John chapter 1, verse 18. I mean, you know, uh, the soul sleep debate. We have a lot of debates. And, and I was just starting also, my debating skills weren't that great, you know. Um, so they made me better. Talking to Jehovah's Witnesses like Mark and Tony and people like that made me a lot better, especially with Mark, though. They, they sharpened my skills immensely. And, and, and uh, you know, the more you debate these people, the more experience you have and how to answer. And if you don't have an answer, like uh, somebody, I think Paul, he was a weirdo. I mean, from, I don't know where, California or whatever. He, he asked me uh, a double-sided question. Uh, and then somebody asked me in the future, and I, I wasn't ready for Paul, but I was ready for uh, Alexander Cruz in the Great Trinity debate. Paul asked me, well, this is a double question. I mean, you know, uh, how come um, the Holy Spirit and Jesus don't know? What do you mean the Holy Spirit and Jesus don't know? Well, it says that Jesus don't know, but only, only the Father. So that means that the Holy Spirit doesn't know. I didn't know really how to answer that according to the scriptures like I do now. And I was thinking about that, and then I ran into uh, First First Corinthians chapter two, verse verses nine and ten, that the Spirit uh, knows all things, yea, even the deep things of God. So He knows all the secrets. He knows everything. Bathos is the Greek word for depth. So He knows everything. There's nothing that He doesn't know. So you can't put Him in the pool of ignorance. Okay, because you just because it doesn't say the Holy, because uh, because it says only the Father. You know, so, I mean, I, I learned how to answer that, you know, uh, and I gave that to Alexander Cruz, and I said, well, that's easy, that, were, that, that was already asked of me before, and so I was ready uh, the next time, because, you know, you're going to get the same repetition, because Satan doesn't have anything new, he just repeats the same old thing, he's been re <laughs> repeating it for years, and using, you know, uh, Arianness and using uh, JWs to do it in a modern sense, you understand what I'm saying? But anyway, what did we learn? Well, let, let's get to this uh, so far. Uh, let, let's get to this uh, text here. Um, let me see oh, oh, for a second here. Okay. It says over here, record it. You understand what I'm saying? In verse 11, it says, Panta all de now, tauta, okay, uh, works energe. It says over here, ta en. Da hen the same, the one and kai, uh, the same ta out the spirit but numa, it says over here, okay d i uh rune distributing or apportioning, okay it says idia, uh this uh he acasto, kathos uh as, okay um. He wills. Bulletai. Now, I have to say something about the, the Byzantine text form over here. It's the same thing. I, I read basically the same Greek that I, uh, that I read in the Greek into linear. It's, it's just the same. It's the same thing. Nothing different. Now, let's go to the... Uh, I don't know if I read this already because I'm getting up there. And yes, okay, but uh, let's read it again. I think I read it, though, but... This is from the, uh, the NET. It says, yeah, I think I read it, but I'll read it again just to close. It is one and the same spirit distributing as he okay, decides. Let's look at that. Decides. To each person. So he makes decisions. You know what I'm saying? Who produces, and the who refers back to spirit, who produces all these things he produces all these things in the, in the kirk of the church meaning the manifestation and effects of the of the of uh, that's in the church you know um, um the spirit produces that so he's the producer he, he is the he he's the one acting okay all those works that you saw that 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 were that uh, according to the holy spirit in teaching all the works and the acts of the apostles he produced. 
every single one, the miracles, uh, the speech, the, the leading, everything comes from the Holy Spirit. Some people even say that the title should be the Acts of the Holy Spirit instead of the Acts of the Apostles. But still, I mean, you know, I, I don't mind either or. You know what I'm saying? So this is the deal and this is the key. Well, I mean, you know, we learned that the Holy Spirit has a will. Bulletai has a will. I mean, I, mean, I, I believe that it says that he has a, th a teleo, a, te a telo. You know, that's a Greek word for will also. Telema, you know, like that. But well, that's, that's other study for another time. You know, what's in Hebrews chapter 2. Uh, let's look at it right now, as a matter of fact. Let's look at it right now, just so I'll close there. So let's get the Greek of uh, Hebrews. Okay, you understand? And I think that's chapter 2, verse 3, it could be. or So that we'll, we'll get it down pat, because I'm not sure if it's 3 or 6. So let's just, just do that now. Let's get that securely under our belts, you know? You understand? Uh, let's see over here. So that's Second Peter, and that's uh, a Hebrews, or James. You see, it's over here. We caught it. Uh, see, that's uh, Hebrews. You understand? And so that's chapter 2. Ah. Uh, that's chapter 2 right there. And let's see verse 3. It's either in verse 3 or verse 4 or verse 6, something like that. I mean, you know. Uh says, uh, how we, let me see, uh, how we will escape. Let me see. Uh, as it was, let me see. Okay. Bearing witness, uh, see, to uh, Theo. Let's see here, where is that? Okay, uh, wonders and, oh, wonders and by various, okay, uh, boy, key, boy, key lies, okay, okay, uh, miracles. You see, that's one of the, uh, do. Na Messine, one of the one of the gifts that are recorded in chapter twelve of First Corinthians, of the spirit, ah, uh, of the spirit, uh, that'll be Punumatas. Punumat is the stem. Punumatas. Ah, uh, holy Hagiu. Okay, this. Uh, this. Let me see. Uh, distributions, okay, according, akata, according the of him will. Fe, listen, from the Greek word, fe, listen, okay, same thing. Okay, so he has a will. That's what I'm saying. Now, I could poke the bear right here because this is the real McCoy. This is not a picture. So I could poke it right here in the eye. Let's get the definition of this, of this uh, Greek What Tagged by a 23K8. Uh, you understand? And that's very close to 2316, which is very close to, uh, which is uh, the word for God in Greek. So this is data. So, you know, an epsilon. So that's right there. Thelesis. Thelesis. And so the, the definition is a willing, okay, it says over here, a willing will. That's what I'm saying, will. According to his will, kata, his will. See, he has a will. So he's not a force. You see? You understand what I'm saying? That's just all there is to it. So what, would, what did we learn? Well, the Holy Spirit has a will. The Holy Spirit distributes and the Holy Spirit, okay, works in Jesus' church. He is the worker. He does work. And we, we also saw, just in case they, they use, you know, the, the passive and middle construction on us, well, we learned the formula, okay, supplied to us by mouth so graciously. And it said that uh, the opponent word, the middle and passive form form is active in meaning. So that takes care of that. They can say this, that, that word, okay, it's in, in the passive all they want to. It doesn't make a difference because it's still active. Because it's a, it's a it's an oh my word. And when you trace a Greek word, if it's oh my, if the ending ends in, if the ending ends in oh my, 
is it the opponent? What? And the formula is, is in the present. So is middle and passive and formula active in meaning because it's in the present tense over there. Just like, you know, the, the lexicon is in the present tense. It's just a different personal ending. My, that's uh, that's a, a first person. And Thai is just third person. That's the only difference. That doesn't, that doesn't change. It's still passive. It's still, oh, my word, when you trace the, the, the you know, as I lose my voice, as the King James only cares, when you, when you trace, you know, a tie, who cares? It brings you back to, uh, oh, my, which is a deponent word, middle and passive perform, but active in meaning. Just tell the witnesses it doesn't matter if it's middle and passive because it's an oh, my word, and oh, my words, the formula is that though it's middle and passive perform, is active in meaning, Okay. You know what I'm saying? And to echo something that uh, that uh, that uh, Mal said about articles, oh my, though, I say right here, is your friend. <laughs> okay? When you're talking to a JW, believe that oh my is your friend. That's just the deal. Thank you, Miles. We love you. You know what I'm saying? We love you. He's, he's such a, a wonderful brother that helped us uh, uh, just, uh, just to t teach this stuff more effectively, you know? This Angelo Quinone is given glory to God the Father, to the Lord Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit. God is not the God of the dead, as I lose my voice again, but of the, uh, the, the living. And that means that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob didn't go to Bessarine. They were alive, though, but they didn't go to Bessarine. They were alive at the time that Jesus said those words. As a matter of fact, one of them came, uh, it wasn't one of them, though, they didn't come back, but Moses and Elijah actually came back and speaking to Jesus, okay, at the, mount, uh, at the mountain of transfiguration. Is that what I'm saying? You can't get better than that. You know, they still were alive. What are you going to do about that? And you know, some of from Missouri didn't know that, you know, somebody didn't die in the Bible. A couple of people didn't. You know? Don't tell me that he was on a mountain, Elijah. Well, I mean, you know, come on, man. They were looking for him in the mountains. They couldn't find him, dude. You know what I'm saying? That's just a deal. And what about, what about uh, Enoch? He was not, for God took him. You know what I'm saying? Not to be sounding like Max McLean, but I'm just saying McLean, he took him, for well, he was not. <laughs> and to, to add a little bit of Kool-Aid in the, in, the, in, the, in the sermon, add a little bit of Martin Lloyd-Jones, and not, and not. Okay, you understand? It's delicious. That's what we, and, and, we, and we, we learned a couple of things that, you know, um, the lexicons are important, but knowing the Greek structures are more important than that. Okay, lexicons are very important. Okay, I mean, you know, without them, you know, you 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 you, you can't translate. We learned what well, we learned that he is the, that the listen. The church was set up by God. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Given to to Christ by by the Father, and then uh, he died for the church. Okay, paid the ransom price, you understand what I'm saying? Was resurrected on the third day from the dead ones. And not only that, the Holy Spirit has something to do with something. He's not a force. You know, I even mentioned that he speaks, you know. Acts chapter 1, verse 16. This Angelo Quinone is given glory to the God of Israel. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.